Top three sodium sources for endurance, fuel, and hydration. Sodium was number two on our list of things you want to see in your endurance, fuel, and hydration products. But can it just be any sodium? Let's take a look at the top three sodium ingredients you should be okay with seeing in your endurance, fuel, and hydration. First, let's start with a dishonorable mention. Everyone's favorite until it's not, and that's sodium alginate. Yeah, I'm looking at you, Morton, you beautiful piece of advertising genius. Your carb ratio is wonderful, but your pesky little sodium ingredient is about as useless as the gel it supposedly forms. That's right, there is utterly no evidence that the hydrogel effect of Morton provides any benefit. If Morton worked nicely for you as a fuel, it's because they do most other things right and not because of the sodium alginate you can find in it. All right, so number three on our list of sodium sources for your fuel and hydration mix is sodium bicarbonate. Only a few companies include it because putting baking soda in your mix comes with a bit of concern from folks who may have heard that it can cause some GI distress. It turns out that when consumed at the levels just low enough to mostly be a sodium source and not a blood buffer, it's actually relatively innocuous and well tolerated by the GI tract by most people. But sodium bicarbonate is no better than our number two choice. It's pricier and it doesn't have the best flavor. Which brings us to number two, which is probably number one on your dining room table. And that's table salt. Table salt, also known as sodium chloride and marketed by professional advertisers as ground sea salt, which is just salt, or Himalayan salt, which is just salt with trace minerals like calcium, magnesium, potassium, and iron oxide, none of which are consequential for us during endurance training, and it's an awesome source of sodium for endurance athletes. If you're interested in learning just how much to take and when to take it, we did a video on that. In general, most products, even the endurance ones, are low salt enough that it's actually useful to add some salt to the mix for your hardest training sessions. If you're serious about really optimizing hydration, it's sometimes useful to use our number one sodium source that you'd hope to see in every serious fuel and hydration beverage. The reason this sodium source is so special is that it requires fewer total molecules in solution to deliver the same amount of sodium as table salt or sodium bicarbonate. The result? the lowest possible risk of gut discomfort, and the highest rates of absorption of water and electrolytes from your gut into your bloodstream. So which sodium source is best to see in your endurance fuel and hydration product ingredient list? Drum roll please. Sodium citrate. When used in combination with other sodium ingredients, sodium citrate acts as a mild buffer reduces the number of pesky chlorine atoms that can sometimes accumulate in your gut, but most of all, keeps the osmolarity of the solution down low enough that your gut stays happy and absorption stays high. If you want more sodium info, check out our video about how much sodium to use to go faster. And if you just want the math done for you, you can try out our app, Saturday, Profuel and Hydration, and that's available in both Apple and Android app stores. It takes into account all the sodium in your chosen products and just tells you how much to consume for every activity you do. Eliminate the guesswork and cut through the marketing. Get fuel and hydration tailored to you and your training and racing needs. As always, we are tremendously grateful to have you here with us. I hope you're finding some useful takeaways from our videos. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below. Thank you again. Until next time.